my ladies. Tell me, did you learn anything about the origins of Hamlet's insanity? No. It's most confusing, my lord. <sighs> certainly unlike him. Yes. Most unlike him, certainly. Hmm. Maybe Polonius had more luck. King Claudius now wants to investigate Hamlet. My lord. By the way, Hamlet was cheered to hear the playmaster, Quince, is returning. Yes, I thought inviting him might lift Hamlet's spirit just a little. We can stand to give up the Great Hall for just an evening, I think. Then perhaps you'll be cheered to know that Hamlet's rather keen on the idea. Wonderful. Hamlet, really? You're certain? Hamlet's father always liked to see Quince perform. I think he found the man's work relatable. I'm glad to see my son does, too. Isn't that right, my love? That weird noise was a yes, right. Gertrude is so... I feel so bad for Gertrude. They're so hopeful. Like, we know that Hamlet is excited to see Quince perform because Hamlet can use that as a way to try to entice King Claudius into having a reaction. But Queen Gertrude is like, yay, my son is, you know, finding something that brings them joy in this world when they've been so depressed and melancholic. <sighs> Gertrude. I feel so bad for Gertrude. They had three failed births, I think. And then Hamlet was the fourth miracle child. Ah. <sighs> Claudius, who are you waiting for? Stop waiting, I need to talk with you. Ooh. I want to know what they're doing in here. What are you doing in here? Did you not speak to the Lord? Are you truly so uninvested in his word? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I love that <laughs> the sound. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, I don't much care what your Christ has to say, though he seems kind and intended enough. Where I come from, we have hundreds of gods. <gasps> hundreds? You're a heathen. Bernardo, what the fuck? That's correct, yes. I'm a heathen. I prefer my... How do I pronounce that? Devos and Asuras? Some wisdom here, a little trickery there. Gods with real personality. Hmm. Well, I suppose we've little to say to one another then. Let's speak no more ill of any gods, especially in the church. Such a shame. I do so enjoy discussing this lily-faced, bearded, fatherly lord of yours. But as you wish, I'll leave you in peace. Learn more about Bernardo and Horatio. Oh, yeah, journal. That was the right thing. That's Laertes. <laughs> Horatio's religious, but he isn't Catholic or Lutheran. He calls himself a heathen and claimed to worship Devos and Asuras. I'm not sure what that means. Neither am I. Sorry for my ignorance. And Bernardo. Bernardo is Catholic and prays in the mornings sometimes. He's deeply private about his faith, especially in light of the recent burnings of churches around the country. His father was also a religious man. Okay, that event's over. Is this event over? What was that event? Oh, uh, I think Lady Britt's being questioned. Yes, and that does not happen for very long. That's a pretty short event. I, I should get there. Talk with the clean king later. Now then. My men found certain letters in your rooms, Lady Brit. 
which are written in a most peculiar fashion. At first, simply mundane. A letter to a lady friend asking her to visit, then another, then one to your mother. Brigitta Sophie Brokenhus. That's your full name, correct? As I've heard it, the roots of the Brokenhus family run deep. Yours is the Danish branch, but if one traces the generations up the tree, one quickly finds the stock wanders northward. Hmm. You seem to write your mother fondly, and you've been sending her drawings of the countryside, haven't you? I draw, and I paint. Is there harm in that? At first, I thought them simple drawings of the world seen from Elsinore's heights. But these are no idle sketches. These are maps and troop markings. You've passed some information about every stationed man from here to the next northern harbor. Uh. For what purpose have you passed this information to your family? If you're waiting for me to cave, we'll be here a long time. Do you want to live? Allow me to be frank. Your crime is immutable. But the punishment is yet to be determined. My men have been dispatched to your family's home. I'm confident that by tonight we'll have our answer, with or without your consent to speak. Leave my family out of this. I acted alone. That's impossible. I don't believe it for a single moment. I know your father. I know what sort of man he is. I said I acted alone. I will not permit you to sign your death warrant yet. I will return tomorrow. Perhaps a night of sleeping on stone will rouse your reason. What's going to be happening in the chapel? What do we have on the timeline? Unlikely event. Alertis surprises Brit. Hmm. The play's happening in just a little bit, actually. Hmm. Let's go see if I can speak with King Claudius. My king. I have reason to believe Lady Simona is alive. What? S Simona? I haven't heard that name and how can that be possible? No. Certainly not. She may be living nearby, in town. Again, I ask, what do you know of her? She was my father's consort. All knew of her presence. She was there when my mother died. I never asked my father about her. It simply isn't done. But I assumed she had passed, too. Goodbye. Thank you for this information, Ophelia. I'll consider it further. That's it? Okay. Well, now that a bunch of people believe Simona is alive, is that going to kickstart something to happen? I don't know what that something would be. Ah, uh, this is when Hamlet in the chapels just um just monologuing to themselves or talking with God, I think. What do I want to do now? I want to hear Lady Brit get um, interviewed tomorrow. If I don't do something to distract Hamlet, then I think Polonius is going to die. But if Polonius dies, that's not the end of me. Remember, if I have the duel happen and Hamlet dies, then I end up dying in that graveyard scene, so I don't want that to happen. Is there some way, because like, in the journal for Hamlet, or not there? Is it in Leeds? Oh no, it's not in Leeds, it's in characters, but it's actually in Polonius' entry, not Hamlet's. Anytime Hamlet is distracted or prevented from meeting his mother after the play. 
how can I make that happen without disclosing the diary? I either need to talk to Hamlet to distract them, or do something to somebody else to... <laughs> to preoccupy Hamlet. Ah... Uh, I don't know, should we try the discipline thing again? I don't know if that did anything. Where's the king? I don't see them on the map at all. Wait, you're still here. Yeah, you're in here with me. I just can't see your icon for some reason. Okay, let's mention the discipline thing. Is it you I say it to? Yeah, Hamlet must be disciplined. My king. Ugh. At a loss for what to do. King Claudius now believes that Hamlet needs to be disciplined. Yeah, so King Claudius and the Queen are going to confront Hamlet. What if I tell the Queen that they should be disciplined too? I don't know if that's going to make any difference. No. Wait, have I been here for this meeting? My lady? Uh, maybe? How are uh, you getting by? Managing all right? Nothing I can't handle. Do you have any more of that kohlrabi? No, I don't think I have seen this. Things have been sort of trying these last few weeks. But eating these brought me comfort that everything might be alright. I felt like I was a girl again. Hamlet acting up again. Yes, I'm out of ideas. <laughs> if you need to borrow one of my spoons, I give you my blessing. I'm sure you could put it to good use. Could even help straighten out the prince. I'm still hoping it's just a phase. I'm sure it will pass. But your offer is, as always, very kind. Hamlet must be disciplined. My queen. <sighs> oh, Yerma. That's her way, I suppose. Well, I should know her well enough. She did partially raise me, after all. Goodbye. I'll speak with her further. Thank you for telling me, Ophelia. Ophelia learns about a future event in which Gertrude seeks advice from Irma on parenting Hamlet. Ooh, is there going to be time for that to happen? Oh yeah, it's actually going to happen, like, right now. Gerta? I sense your unhappiness seeping through the floors of your chambers and into my kitchen. My own son is against me. Is there anything worse in this world? What can a mother do? The same as I once did for a troublesome little queen in the making. <gasps> you mean me? <laughs> Goethe, don't you remember? You were all scraped knees and dirty hair for years. Running with the hounds, clamoring around the stables. I told you then what I'll tell you now. Children must be formed through discipline into adults. Just as Doe must be beaten nearly to its limit before it can rise, so too must Lord Hamlet be forced to leave his gloom. Yep. Mm hmm. Just as dough must be beaten nearly to its limit. Beat your child nearly to their limit. Maybe don't do that, Irma. Fuck you. Oh. I've tried, Irma, but I can never force my son from his grief before he's ready. Are they, are they literally talking? Like, Irma was literally talking about beating Hamlet, but I really don't think Queen Gertrude would be the type of person to do that. I believe he must find his own way out of this darkness. <gasps> My lady merely needs a gentle push, and I am the one to deliver it. Ophelia learns about a future event in which Hamlet and Irma have a nice chat. <laughs> Okay. 
When is that gonna happen? Unlikely event. King Claudius and the Queen confront Hamlet. Why is that unlikely right now? Is it because the gent gentle push hasn't been delivered yet? But the event is listed as happening here, but the chat is going to happen way over here. What? Okay, somebody explain this to me. There's two events overlapped here. There's an unlikely event. Bernardo interrogates Brit once more. And then there's a is going to happen event. Bernardo continues to interrogate Brit. What? All right, sure. That makes sense. Hmm. Isn't it tonight that my father dies? If the Irma's gonna have a nice chat with Hamlet tomorrow, what good is that gonna do? I don't know. Maybe I should be here for the play. See if anything happens differently in the play. Because I've only attended the play once. Very, very early on when I was playing this game. And ever since then, I've just avoided it or skipped through it. <sighs> Perhaps. This is the play that's going to be happening here, right? Everybody's gathering. Oh, first the royal family sits down to dine. Let's see if anything new happens here. Can't wait to see the dinner table just appear. Where's that food? There it is. There was one very, very minor new thing, I think. I cut it out, though, because it really is extremely minor and doesn't matter. It was just during the dinner, Hamlet was complaining about how their food looked like crap, but everybody else has looked good. Which I suspect is maybe because Irma served the food and wanted to fuck with Hamlet. Probably why that happened. And then Gertrude offers to switch their plate with Hamlet. And that's it. Nothing of significance. I'm gonna sit through the play and see if anything different happens here was exactly the same. Currently on the timeline, Hamlet is about to press his mother on Claudius's actions. And Polonius is headed to their chamber, to uh, uh, Gertrude's chamber as well, so I'm pretty certain that Polonius is going to die here. I don't know if there's any way for me to prevent it at this point. The conversation between Hamlet and Irma is supposed to happen right after this, but that's not going to prevent it, right? It's after. I don't know, Polonius is going there right now. I can't talk to them because they're busy. Marcellus? Can I tell Marcellus something? Like, don't let Polonius in? Haha, <laughs> I'm faster than you, Dad. The only thing I see here that maybe could possibly help is if I say, what's wrong with Hamlet? Maybe that'll make them a little bit more suspicious of Hamlet and maybe they won't let Hamlet in. I don't know, let's... Wait, what? Have we seen this before? I was just skipping through it. They said there's something horrible as a foot, and then I've been commanded not to say. If you follow Hamlet, he may lead you to the answer himself. Oh, we've probably seen this a long time ago. They're referring to the ghost, right? It didn't end well for the poor Queen Astrid. Hmm... Ah, that didn't pop up with, like, Marcellus thinks that Hamlet is a danger to people or something. Shit, and I can't go in there. It's locked, and Marcellus wouldn't let me in anyway. I can't... Wait, can I talk with my dad? Aren't they busy? Can I catch them at the very last second? Hmm... I know I've told them this before. 
that Hamlet is going to kill them, and I think they just thought I was out of it. I don't know. Let's try it. Dad. Please. I know this sounds, but please believe me. Hamlet is going to make an attempt Hamlet? on your life. Um, you'll stay away from him? <gasps> well, you know it makes me ill when you say strange things like this. Um, it's on my mind at the very least. Okay. Yes, Polonius now believes that he should be wary of Hamlet. Good. Now, <laughs> don't you fuck. Well, I don't think that's going to help anything. Damn it. Can I tell something to Hamlet right now? They're upset, so... Whoops, I clicked out of the game. <laughs> ah! No, they're upset. Fuck. Marcellus, how about you go inside right now? Do you want to go inside? No. I'll grab the key, even though I don't think it's going to matter. Well, has my father died yet? Oh. Wait. Oh, did, did Polonius just leave? Poloni Polonius just left. They're okay. So it's possible for them to go inside, but then come out alive. Rather than coming out dead, you know, as a zombie. <laughs> busy. What are you busy doing? Man, I wish I, I could go in there and listen to the conversation between Gertrude and Hamlet. That, that, prob that might be possible, actually, to do that. Not right now, but on another loop, if I actually specifically wait in the chambers. Like, long before. Any of this happens whenever Marcellus isn't there and and Gertrude isn't there. And then I probably could. Okay, now you're not busy anymore. Can I tell you anything new? Do you want to tell me anything new? No. Okay. What's going to be happening on the walls? Oh, is it the ghost again? Huh. Maybe it was. Alright, how's the timeline look? Whoa, wait. What just ha- Who- Who died? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, not that. This. What? They... They killed each other? Or maybe a murder-suicide? If I had a... If I had a guess, I would say probably Hamlet killed their mother and then killed themselves, maybe? Holy shit. Okay, so if we save our dad that way, they both end up dead. Holy hell. What now? I mean, I'm sure come morning there's going to be an announcement, right? I don't need to see any conversation between Irma and the ladies, right? Yeah, they complete their mission. Nah. Hmm. Apparently it's unlikely that Hamlet and Irma are going to have a nice chat, but apparently it's possible. Potentially it's possible if I bring Hamlet back from the grave. Okay. That's the Herald's Horn. Something's happened. 
Listen to the announcement. Yes, we've never heard this one before. Apologies, ladies and gentlemen, for disturbing you. There have been some troubling circumstances. This part of the announcement seems the same as the announcement when Polonius died. The Queen's death was entirely unexpected. That's new, of course. She appears to have suddenly lost her life during a confrontation with the Prince. Truly? How awful. Kurt. He looks pale. Paler than I've ever seen him. I wonder if he'll be alright. Nah, they're going to be shattered. Some of you know that Hamlet has also departed us far too soon. His body was found alongside his mother's. Our best guess is that he became hostile, and with no one else around, she was forced to defend herself. If I had stayed... Hamlet was a lifelong friend of mine. I will miss him from the deepest part of my heart. Hamlet? This feels unreal. I apologize, everyone, for the disturbance. But sudden death like this always warrants a heightened awareness. I encourage all of you to report anything troubling you see to me at once, and remain within the castle if possible. Oh, this is very surprising. Horatio shatters and will not recover. I didn't think... Oh, oh, right. Sorry, I forgot. Ha <laughs> I was just thinking of Gertrude. Right, Hamlet died too, and Horatio is Hamlet's friend. So that makes sense, that they would be shattered. However, what's really, really, really surprising to me is that Irma and King Claudius are not shattered. They're only upset, but will recover overnight. Irma half-raised Gertrude. And King Claudius is married to them, and they're going to recover overnight? That's really weird. I learned about a future event in which Claudius mourns his dead wife. What's the timeline look like? Claudius mourns his dead wife is happening right now. Unlikely event. Laertes surprises Brit. <laughs> Okay. Unlikely, King Claudius and the Queen confront Hamlet. Two out of three of those people are dead, so that does seem rather unlikely to me, too. Okay. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to go to the chapel and listen to what Claudius has to say about what's happened to their, their wife and their stepson.